Hi, in this video I would like to explain to you the concept of gamma decay, a type of radioactive decay. In my earlier videos I had explained alpha and beta decays. Those were particles that came out from a parent nucleus, highly unstable, which then became a new element called the daughter nucleus. In this image we are looking not at the parent but at a daughter nucleus. The daughter nucleus can sometimes come out at a highly excited energy level and it wants to climb down to a more stable state which means a lower energy level. In that process of climbing down from high excitation to lower excitation it emits waves called the gamma waves. So the daughter nucleus here has emitted a gamma radiation. These are very strong and extremely penetrating. So to summarize, uh, we start with the parent nucleus uh, somewhere in history and the parent nucleus has decayed to a daughter nucleus which is in a highly excited state and then you can see in the sketch below that the daughter nucleus comes down to a more stable state and in that process we have the emission of gamma radiation. So this is the action sequence uh, how to get the gamma waves starting from a parent nucleus. This slide shows the way the energy gets released. So the daughter nucleus which comes out in an initial excited state can come down to the ground state either straight away in one single step or in a number of steps. Either way the total energy that's released from the top to the bottom will be the same. It can only get divided by the number of steps as shown there. Let's take an example. So if you take argon 4018 as a daughter nucleus which came out of another parent nucleus. The daughter nucleus argon 4018 remains argon 4018 when it releases the gamma radiation. That's how we write the equation. What this equation does not show is the energy level that's released. Similarly, cobalt 6027 becomes cobalt 6027 plus gamma radiation emitted. Therefore, gamma decay is electromagnetic waves, it's not particles, there is no change in the element, there is no change in atomic number and mass number and the highest energy of all the uh, radioactive decays is got in the gamma waves. And they have very short wavelength, it's less than 1 by 10 to the power 12 meters. The typical way of representing a radioactive decay is shown here. There is a box and there are uh, three radiations coming out of that element in the box. The gamma ray goes straight away because it's not charged, it's a wave, uh, it's not a particle with a charge. The alpha particle curves to the left if we apply a magnetic field shown by those crosses. The magnetic field is going inside the plane of the paper, away from us. And the beta particle, which is negatively charged, bends towards the right. It bends a lot. I hope this uh, video was useful to you. Thanks and have a great day.